Ministers, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of CBI Northern, uh, CBI Northern Ireland, I am delighted to welcome you all to our annual dinner this evening. I hope you have a very enjoyable evening. I am particularly delighted that Sir John Parker is with us to provide our keynote address, and I am very much looking forward to that. I am also delighted that Arlene Foster, MLA, Minister of Enterprise, Trade and Investment, and a sterling supporter of CBI, will also share some thoughts with us this evening. John, Arlene, you are most welcome. I would also like to welcome our other distinguished guests, Minister Stephen Farry and Alex Atwood. We also have a range of other friends and guests this evening from the business sector, public sector, education and the media. You are all very welcome. And a particularly warm welcome tonight to my colleague, the CBI Scottish Chair, Norshina Mubarak. Norshina, you are taking the time from your duties in Scotland. It is very much appreciated. I am delighted tonight that Eric Home Northern Ireland is again our principal sponsor for our annual dinner. Darren Lemon, the UK General Manager of Ericom, will say a few words shortly, uh, and followed by Minister Foster. Uh, and then you'll be pleased to hear after that we will eat. I would also like to thank our associate sponsors this evening, Barclays Bank. We are most grateful for your support. As you hopefully can see, we have themed our dinner tonight, Northern Ireland 2012, Our Time, Our Place. I am very grateful for the Northern Irish Tourist Board's sponsorship, input and cooperation tonight. This isn't just about tourism potential, although we have an ambition to double our tourism revenues to $1 billion by 2020, but a great opportunity this year to continue to build on Northern Ireland's image abroad. Rory McIlroy's success in the golfing world could not have come at a better time for our tourism drive. There are many great events ahead in 2012, and there will be direct business benefits and opportunities that hopefully we can take advantage of. Following 2012, there will be the Derry London Derry City of Culture and the World Police Fire Games. The former likely to bring in significant revenues and the latter bringing in over 25,000 athletes and spectators. However, while it is right to look forward and look positively, we at the CBI do have some concerns as to where we are today and what we need to do to get our economy match fit. But more of that later on. Finally, we have a charity prize draw this evening with some excellent prizes. Information about the prizes are on your table. All we ask is you make a donation in the envelopes provided, uh, and Nigel will uh, do the draw hopefully later on. We hope you can give generously with all the funds going to the Energy for Children Charitable Trust. This charity is breaking new ground with local communities throughout Greater Belfast and beyond, and makes a real difference in disadvantaged children's lives. If everyone could put 10 or 20 pounds in their envelope this evening, we'd raise 10,000 pounds and that will go a long way in getting help to where it is needed. I sincerely hope you have a great evening, and I would now like to invite Darren Lemon to say a few words. <laughs> 